for Humanity is a community organization in which I work together with Africa's young change leaders in creating their own authentic Africa. And to be able to select and guide these change leaders, I initiate and facilitate life transformation experiences that support them in realizing a self-sustainable life. Because only when they transform from within, stand up for what they believe in, it is possible to equally co-create a brighter world for all of us. And I am following our talents for humanity as they are working in the field. And this is the result. Hello, it's early morning and I'm walking on the lands around Karimenga, which is a small rural village on the border of Northern Region and Upper East in Northern Ghana. And I'm on my way to meet Talent for Humanity, Ibrahim Salifu. I know him since the beginning of me staying in Ghana, which was in 2007. And the way he's putting his heart and soul into the Volta Sustainable Farm, that is where we are heading towards now, is something that I can only admire. So let's go and connect with him. Okay, here we are, the Volta Sustainable Farm. Welcome. We are going to try to find Ibrahim, who is on the land here somewhere. So let's go and meet him. Ah, I can see him. He's working over there on the land. Hey, hey good to see you again. How's life? Very fine, Very and fine. you? Very hey, good. I'm doing well. I'd like to, uh, to introduce you to more people okay. in the world okay. because I love working with you. Yeah, yeah that's uh, the same with me too. Yes, yeah. and yeah. Um, I was wondering if you can share a little bit about the dream that you have for the world. Like, What is your dream for the world? Well, my dream for the world is also uh, that I am really looking forward to a world where we would have chemical free in our food because it's so much now with the influx of chemicals in our food which is really not good, especially Africans it's too much yeah. because now there are a lot of diseases that it's always it's difficult to tell from where we really get it but i think it has to do with the use of chemicals the abuse of it and i think not good for our health okay so i'm really looking to a world where everything yeah. is without chemicals yeah. and yeah. that would be very good yeah. i happen to know that you are contributing to that world uh, that you believe in via the Volta sustainable farm yeah. where we are now yeah. um, can you explain where we are today volta has to do with uh, as uh, working close to the river, yeah, yeah. the White Volta River. We have the Volta River that really passed, which is the white one. Yeah. And this has been very helpful to us uh, here in the community. So much dear to our heart. Yeah. Yes, then uh, sustainable, like I said, we're looking at the aspect of where natural things that we would use in our area of farming, because God, the Almighty, has provided so much natural resources that we could use in the farming and not going the other way around. Yeah. And sustainable means farming God's way, which farming means God's. everything you do here is it's natural, natural. Or at least as much as possible, yeah. or 100% natural. Yes, we 100% uh, natural. Yes, we 100% natural. Uh, I admire you. Uh, for you. The, the, the heart and the soul that you put into not only this farm but also in helping to build the, the village Karimenga from the inside out. But what, what is your drive? Finding out how farming really started yeah. and that is where our grandfather, where our grandfathers left where we should also pick up. So it's like I pick up the pieces really from the old ones which are really like they are actually uh, the, 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 the ones that really drive me telling me information yeah. That bit, I think we've lost so much. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, it's all boils up to where uh, I look up to this uh, place where it's possible that other farmers could also learn some of these techniques yeah. that our great parents had 
yeah. before and then maybe to find ways we can really improve this yeah. naturally. Yeah. And, and what is it that you want to realize? So what is what, what you are working towards? Yeah, really working towards where we can uh, uh, look at uh, the program being more for the youth especially because mm -hmm. these days there's no work, we say no work, no work and we're running away from farming. Yeah. And I think there are quite a lot that uh, the youth needs to come close to see that looks farming is something that we can really, this is yeah. a natural gift that we are giving, so we should make good use of it. Yeah. So for me, uh, I think it's, it's good that uh, I'm looking at it in the future to be like a small local school yeah. where you know other farmers can access some yeah. information here. So you can learn by doing. Yeah. So when you come, whatever work we do, yeah, you, you join us and then you yeah. can ask ever, whatever question yeah. that you have. Yeah. So you want it, uh, the f first priority is to make it uh, a, su a sustainable farm on itself, which means it is uh, self-sustainable, Sub financial, yeah, be able successful. To generate its own, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and the other is that you, on top of that, you want it to be a training and education facility for farmers for around farmers are well, to yeah, show around. them that it is yeah. possible to yeah. farm without the chemicals. Yeah. And uh, next to that, you also want it to be a training center for youth so that they can work together with you side by side yeah. to learn to be a farmer and to start their own, their own farm farms on their own well. themselves. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. 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 This is exactly the whole dream. Now, can you show me what, what you are working on right now? Talent for Humanity, Ibrahim Salifu and his initiative, the Volta Sustainable Farm. In the past two years, he led it to where it is today while he received coaching from Talents for Humanity. Individual donors made it possible to clear and prepare the land at the starting point. Hogeschool van Rotterdam donated the irrigation pipes and part of the seeds were delivered by a Dutch company. Do you want to work together with us to bring the Volta Sustainable Farm to its next level? Please visit the website. Let's connect to realize more together and co-create a brighter world for all of us.